High Water is the latest Polish political drama series against the backdrop of a natural disaster. In July 1997, scientists and local government officials face life and death decisions when a destructive flood wave threatens the city of Brocław in Poland. The local authorities, led by the aspiring politician Jakub Marczak, Tomasz Szczuczart, bring in Jasmina Tramer, Agnieszka Zulowska, a female hydrologist with a troubled past, to help save the city at any cost. At the same time, Andrzej Rebex, Ironius Chop, returns to his hometown, a village near Roklaw, unexpectedly leading the rebellious residents against the disaster. Under time pressure, the authorities make a difficult decision that will forever change the lives of the main characters, as well as the history of the entire region and its inhabitants. While it is based on a real event, it has fictionalized the characters that lead us through the events that happened originally. It showcases the overall moods and emotions of the events to create a universal story about making difficult decisions, the conflict of generations, and the tensions between individuals and the collective, the city, and the countryside. The series starts off in the year 1997 when news is being broadcasted about Pope John Paul the visiting his country of birth, which is a big event. Then a massive problem arises. Somebody predicts an imminent rise in the water levels and a flood as a result, which will sweep over several small towns. Like many fictionalized disaster-related films and shows we have seen, here also the officials in power refuse to believe that a big flood will come in this time and age. Then there comes a person with a clear vision and ideas to help, but they are shunned for being too radical, or in this case, because they are coming from a woman. However, our lead is not such an uprighteous person and oftentimes packs up her bags and lets the officials on. Their high horses deal with whatever tragedy is yet to come. On the other hand, it also displays a part of her personality and explains why she is like this and what she is running from. By being stuck in the flooded region, Jasmine also has to face her own issues that she has been avoiding. Our second lead is Jakob Markczak, who seems to share a history with Jasmina that we will get to know slowly. And despite his political commitment, he has enough common sense to know that you must act immediately and when it is necessary to break the rules for a good cause. The third protagonist is Andrzej Rybax, who tries to save a village near Roklaw and the family house in which his father still lives from flooding. These three characters show different perspectives and how people in those positions must have felt and dealt with things according to their own ways. The story of Wielka Woda is about individuals facing the things they can't get away from and about people coming together to take action. The flood was a catalyst for society and overnight, ordinary everyday life was replaced by the struggles of the elements and trusted leaders emerged from the crowd. The creators have skillfully built tension and they gradually introduce us to each of the characters. They also go back in time to show that the catastrophe did not happen suddenly. It was due to many uncorrected errors. The problem of the countryside and the city is also shown in an interesting way. Whether to flood the village and save a large population, or to defend your own lands until the last minute, at the expense of flooding the city. Is high water a true story? Yes, high water is based on a true story. It chronicles the tragic 1997 Central European Flood, aka the 1997 Oder Flood, that affected Poland, Germany and the Czech Republic in July 1997. After southwestern Poland and the northeastern Czech Republic experienced two stretches of high rainfall that month, the Oder and Mava River basins flooded extensively and devastated the two countries with additional damages in Germany. The high levels of rain were caused by pressure created by Jenner Lowe, 
A cyclone formed from a pre-existing cyclone to the south of the Alps over the Gulf of Genoa, Ligurian Sea, Po Valley, and northern Adriatic. The said cyclone had shifted from North Italy and remained over southern Poland for a long while, resulting in several months' average rainfall occurring in barely a week or so. Flooding commenced in the Czech Republic on July 5, 1997, and spread to Poland the next day through rapid flash floods. Who is Andrzej Rybax? Andrzej Rybax is introduced in the series' premiere episode of High Water, titled Episode 1. He is the son of Simon Rybax, a revered figure in the village of Keti. Andras Stage returns to the village as his father's health deteriorates. Moreover, their family house needs renovation, and Andras Stage takes on the responsibility until his father recovers. Soon, Anders learns that a massive flood will be hitting Roklaw. The authorities plan to destroy the flood banks near Keti to divert the water flow and save the city. In turn, it would cause the flood to destroy houses in the village. The villagers oppose this plan and mount resistance. Andrastich follows in his father's footsteps and leads the rebellion leading to the authorities aborting their plan to destroy the flood banks. In the series, actor Irenaeus Chop essays the role of Andrew's age Rebax. Viewers might recognize the actor from his performance as Polish mountaineer Masij Berbeka in the drama film Broad Peak. Is Andrew's age Rebax based on real person? Andrew's age Rebax is not based on any single real person. In an interview, actor Irenaeus Chop revealed the inspiration behind his character in the series. Chizop stated that his character was created from a story perspective and writer Caspar Bejon drew inspiration from the stories of various real people affected. By the Millennium Flood in 1997, the actor explained that Andrzej and his connection to the village of Keti are fictional, as the real flood banks were situated elsewhere. However, the characters' experiences and journeys are loosely based on stories of real heroes who struggled for their communities during the flood. Sop added that while he was not in direct contact with the people who inspired his character, instead, he heard about their stories from Bejon. On the other hand, the actor had witnessed the flood's devastation firsthand. As a result, he was able to draw from personal experiences while portraying the character in the series. Ultimately, high water is amidst the real-life Millennium Flood that wreaked havoc in many parts of Poland in 1997. However, the series heavily dramatizes real events and uses fictional characters to examine the impact of the natural calamity. Therefore, it is no surprise that the character of Andrzej Rebax is a fictional creation. However, the makers add a layer of authenticity around the character by rooting him real experiences of those affected by the flood. As a result, the series allows viewers to experience the hardships faced by citizens of Poland during one of the most devastating disasters in the country's history. Moreover, the story of Andrzej Rebek's series emphasizes the importance of staying true to one's roots and highlights the communal spirit that helped the citizens survive during the flood. As is always the case, mismanagement on multiple levels led to the Millennium Flood and adequate justice for this was never quite meted out, despite some of those involved having to testify in official hearings. But there isn't that fist-pump moment of catharsis to be found here, at least not regarding the non-fiction details. The flood can't be averted despite the overwhelming evidence of its imminent arrival, it costs many lives and many millions of dollars, and nobody is really made to answer for any of it in any meaningful sense. But this is why fictionalizing the major players around High Water's true story was such a good idea, since the history between Tremor and Markchak, which initially unfurls as a kind of mystery, is much more satisfying in its narrative rhythms 
and builds to a nice payoff. As is revealed gradually, these two actually have a romantic history. And what's more is that Jacob's daughter, Clara, is actually Jasmina's daughter. Left for him to raise alone because Jasmina was an addict. Despite all the time that has elapsed and all the bitterness and regret that continues to simmer around the dynamic, the flood actually brings Jasmina and Clara together. The kid is smart enough to join the dots and with Jasmina in recovery and therefore much better positioned to develop a relationship with her daughter, High Water is able to deliver an emotional payoff that the climax of the real events wouldn't have provided.